are outside the jail in La Paz, where actually hundreds of people have been arrested and taken in here at different protests. Um, most of the people inside, well, the people that you see outside here waiting are relatives of the people inside. Um, they are mostly indigenous people, campesinos, people who have been arrested in different protests, and they're being charged with sedition, some of them intrusion, some of them with delinquency. Uh, I was just allowed to go inside uh, as press and was able to talk to one of the young women. In her case, uh, she said she's an anthropology student at the university, and she had her wipala, that's the flag, the indigenous flag that you see flying all over the place here. She was carrying her wipala, and she was not even in a demonstration. There was a demonstration going by, uh, and they started uh, shooting the tear gas at people, and she went to hide behind a kiosk, and because she was there with her indigenous flag, um, she was arrested and at first was accused of everything, including treason, which is a very difficult charge. Uh, she finally got a lawyer and they reduced the charges, but she's been in jail now, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, um, without being able to see a judge to get a hearing. Uh, and her case is similar to many others who have just been picked up. Um, we met some other people who said that uh, they were, again, sort of walking down the street uh, and were uh, picked up, swooped up in a crowd. Um, other people um, from the indigenous community have been part of protests, uh, but the way they are treated inside, it's very, very tiny cells. They're all crowded in there. Um, they have to sleep on the floor. They're not given any food. Um, there are a couple of hours that relatives are allowed to come in and bring the food, but that's the only food that they have. Um, very rough treatment inside. And um, as you, the, the, many of these people who are coming from the countryside, um, they don't have money, and they have been here since Friday, uh, Saturday, Sunday, some of them sleeping in the street. Um, they uh, have had to uh, get money from the community to be able to hire lawyers. Uh, they don't understand anything of what this process is about. Um, a woman inside was crying and saying uh, she's left her children alone, they don't have money to get back home. Um, this is real hardship for people, and it's part of the repression that's been unleashed against the indigenous community um, who are trying to get uh, the government that they consider the legitimate government back, and so they've been participating uh, in protests for that. But this is meant to be a, a, a really to, to um, be a, a warning to other people um, that we can pick you up, that we can throw you in prison, that we can charge you with anything we want to and make your lives miserable. And so you see, as we were walking around here, groups of indigenous women um, who have all been waiting since Friday, and today's supposed to be a big demonstration. Uh, surely there will be a lot of other people arrested, um, but we wanted to give you a sense of how um, it's all the indigenous people inside there, uh, how they're being treated, and how this is part of a coup attempt and part of the larger uh, policy that they are um, planning and, and undertaking right now to intimidate, harass uh, anybody that stands up for their rights. We'll come back on live uh, when the demonstrations arrive here.